Paul uses these words in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 16. Is not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ? And is not the bread that we break a participation in the body of Christ? Too many years ago, when I was 16 years of age, I attended the Burleson Church of Christ in Burleson, Texas. And one Sunday morning, a man got up in our congregation and asked for volunteers. They wanted to take communion to the shut-ins of our congregation. And so I volunteered. I had been driving for a couple of years, and and I decided to take communion to shut-ins at the Colonial Nursing Home in Cleburne, Texas. It was only going to be temporary, is what they said, and so the next four years, I continued to take communion to those in the nursing home. I really didn't understand what was going on because to me it was just mechanics. I was reading scripture, I was offering uh, matzo of bread, they broke it, they always wanted to break the bread, and then they would drink out of these little glass cups. You know, I thought back at those years and I thought to myself, what is it about communion? Well, my mother's been in the nursing home for three years now, and guess what? nursing home she's in, the Colonial Nursing Home in Cleburne, Texas. You know, my mother misses a lot being in the nursing home. She misses her husband who passed away a couple of years ago. She misses big family gatherings that we used to have, even though we all gathered together in January for her 90th birthday. But here's what she really misses. She misses being with the body in services on Sunday. She misses having people pass communion trays. She misses having a tray sent to her and and breaking that bread. She misses picking up that cup. She misses participation. I understand that this cracker that tastes like cardboard And this grape juice that tastes like something had been out for a couple of years doesn't quite give the same amount of love and respect. My sister brought my mother a handful of these and said, you know, it's just the same. And my mother always says this, no, it's not. Because this is bread and this is a fruit of the vine. But you know what? It's all about participation. It's all about communion. It's all about being with God. You know, I think back in those times that I will discuss things of the Bible with my mother. And I come to realize this really important fact. Even though our weekly observance of the Lord's Supper sometimes seems routine, routine is a good thing. Because it tells us that it is a priority to us to come together, to commune with God, to commune with one another in fellowship and participation, to remember what's really important in our lives, that Jesus died on the cross for us, for our sins, that he was risen from the grave, and that he reigns in heaven waiting our return. I think about the Lord's Supper as being an opportunity for us to remember the past, think about the present, and remember that someday we will all be united in heaven with him. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, sometimes we don't know what words to say. We don't know what things we should say. But scripture tells us that the Holy Spirit speaks on our behalf in words and groanings too deep for words. Help us, Father, as we partake of the Lord's Supper to remember that just as the Lord's Supper talks about your Son, it reminds us of our baptism once again, that we died and we were buried and we raised to walk a newness of life. As we communion with you today, Father, and this supper, this table. Help us to remember what's important in our lives and help us each day to be re-energized 
by this bread and this juice. In your name we pray, amen.